So this will be the trail that I'm going to be taking, the Upper Winter Creek Trail. I've done this probably like four times before, normally during the day, but this is uh, it's getting a little brighter. Uh, still kind of hard to see without so much light. Uh, it's a cloudy morning, so sun's not penetrating that much. It's starting to get a little better. The the trail is um, still kind of dark. It needs to be lighted with a flashlight. But the sky is starting to to come out, as you can see. It's absolutely beautiful. Hopefully, I can make it a little higher up when the sun rises, so I can see it in between the mountains. The sky is starting to get brighter, and as you can see, it's actually getting pretty stunning. All right, it's 6:43 p.m. and the sun is starting to finally come out. As you can see, the sky is starting to get pretty bright. I can start to see the road ahead of me very easily. I'm now walking without my flashlight. Um, pretty soon, probably in about an hour or so, get off my jacket because it'll get too hot. Yeah. All right, it's okay. currently 6.45 and that is Chantry Flats. That's where I parked my car. And as you can see, there are cars coming up the mountain and it's starting to get a little packed. Um, probably around eight o'clock is when it's gonna get full on a weekend. But as you can see, the whole entire place is pretty lit up. No longer need the flashlight. And we'll continue on to our way. I'm currently heading north right now. As you can see, the sun is coming up over there to the east. And following the trail, we were going south. So probably maybe like two and a half more hours, three hours to the top. All right, so here's the big dilemma about the signage of this place. As you can see here, it says that Chantry Flat is three miles back. But when we first started this trail, it said it was only six and a half miles to Mount Wilson. But if you total it up, four and a half miles plus three is seven and a half. So you can see that the whole entire signage is wrong. Um, it's incredibly misleading and you have no idea uh, if you're going the right way sometimes. Um, last time I got lost, but luckily I had a map on me. So yeah, we are currently at a fork road and it's gonna take three more miles to get to the top. I did see a little, I did see a little snow up there. Hopefully there'll be more when I get off up top. I thought I was lost for a second. I just simply don't remember this. Is that the the trail, because there's been snow and ice, it got bigger, the crevice. Oh. All right, it seems like I'm above the clouds now, because the sun's right there. And uh, so I see snow. I just passed by three old people running down the mountain. This is very promising. They said it's gonna be a spectacular view. I'm looking forward to it. This place has more snow. So this is normally the route that cars take up to Mount, uh, Mount Wilson. I believe it's part of the two. Um. I mean, how breathtaking it is. I made it! All right, so this is the top. As you can see, it's completely covered in snow, which is really awesome. Over there, you see the, the satellites. Uh, right over there somewhere is the observatory. Oh, right there, right above my head. All right, it's time to eat lunch. I'm really... Uh, I really need electrolytes because I'm a little bit dehydrated. I haven't eaten breakfast. Um, it took a little longer than I thought because at the end I started slowing down probably from the lack of energy. Uh, but I made it, so 
Yeah! So that's where the cafe is. I don't know if it's open today. Made it to the top of the uh, mountains and it's absolutely stunning. Mm -hmm.